the Theatre Royal, Drury Lane. It's London's oldest operating theater. This theater has been built in the same location four times. It's still a thriving cultural center, and it's recently staged many major musicals. Drury Lane's first theater opened in 1663. It was built by Thomas Killigrew on the Riding Yard, but it did not appear to have a name at the time. It was known as the King's Theater, the King's House, and confusingly, the Covenant Garden Theater due to its proximity to Covenant Garden. It was destroyed by fire in 1672. Killigrew rebuilt the theater on the same location and reopened as the Theatre Royale in Drury Lane in 1674. The book Old and New London claims that Sir Christopher Wren designed the new theatre, but this has long been debated. In 1791, co-owner Richard Brinsley Sheridan demolished the theatre to make way for a much larger structure, something much more grand. And during this time, the company performed at the Haymarket Theatre. Henry Holland designed the third theatre. Because it was Lent, when it did open, Sheridan completed that and opened it for the first time with a grand selection of sacred music from Handel's works in respect and honor of the season. It opened for the first time March 12, 1794. The new theater was significantly larger than the previous. The pit alone measured 54 feet in length, 46 feet in width, and it could hold up to 800 people. It had 25 rows of benches. And the benches were designed so that those sitting next to the orchestra could have a clear view of the entire stage. There were approximately 3,950 seats in total. And despite having numerous fire safety features, this theater burned down February 24th, 1809. The fourth Drury Lane Theater, designed by Benjamin Wyatt, opened on Saturday, October 10th, 1812, with a performance of Hamlet and an address by Lord Byron. And despite being changed and repaired over the years, the Drury Lane Theater remains the same structure that was built in 1812, the theater has two sides, the king's side and the prince's side. This one-of-a-kind feature dates back to King George III's feud with his son. And to avoid a fight, each person was assigned their own side of the theater. And as a result, the theater now has two royal boxes. Nell Gwynn used to sell oranges in Covent Garden before becoming an actress. And she made her stage debut when she was only 15 years old at the Theatre Royale, Drury Lane. She not only charmed crowds, but she also charmed King Charles II, who had two sons with her, and took her as his mistress for a very long time. Don't let poor Nellie starve, he said on his deathbed. James II made certain that this did not happen. The Nell of Old Drury Pub is located on the opposite side of Catherine Street from the theater's entrance. An underground tunnel connects the pub and the theater. And the tunnel is said to have been used by Charles II to sneakily visit his mistress, Nell Gwynn. People have been going to see shows at the Theatre Royale Drury Lane since 1663. It is the world's oldest still operating theater. It is close to the Strand, but contrary to its name, it's no longer on Drury Lane. It is instead located on Catherine Street. And the Strand is a five-minute walk from Covent Garden and Temple Tube stations and buses from all over Greater London stop right there. So the next time you're heading out, you're in London, make sure you stop by Theatre Royale, Drury Lane. You will not be disappointed. These are Interesting Things with J.C.